Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And we've got a little package, which is usually a good sign. And I think this has a really cool Legends card in it. It's really nicely packed, by the way. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this card. It's a card from Legends. It's a legendary card. It's a golden card. What else can I say? It's an historical figure. I'm actually gonna talk a little bit about uh, who he actually is in the video. Because one of the things that I like about Old School Magic is that there are so many connections to be made with uh, folklore and myth stories. Of course, you've got the whole Arabian Nights set, which is basically, um, you know, based on the Thousand and One Nights uh, story. Or actually, it's not a story because uh, Thousand and One Nights is um, is a collection of folklore stories from the Middle East, so it's not like it's one book or something. Okay, so Strixhaven, and here we go. So here is the actual card. Actually, not yet. I see there's some packaging here. There's something more in here. Nope. So here it is. So we see some protection surrounding the card. go again I always keep these I put my sleeves in here it's kind of nice okay so there we go so this is yeah new card new card okay here this is the real deal here we go BAM Nabuchadnezzar one blue one black and three to cast beautiful Richard King Ferguson work let me take it out of the sleeve it's in a really nice shape, by the way. Beautiful art. It's a summon legend. So it's a three, three, four, five, right? And you can uh, pay X and tap. And then name a card. Opponent reveals X cards from his or her hand at random or entire hand if he or she does not have enough cards. Opponent then discards any of those cards that match the one you named. May only use this power during your turn. What I love is may only use this power. So it's not an ability. It's it's a power, you know, and... When you look in the history books, uh, if you Google this name, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, you actually find, find out that he was a king of ancient Babylon. So he was a pretty big deal. And he's famous for, um, for being the king that ordered the construction of the Ishtar Gate. So when you would go into Babylon, uh, there were several gates. One of those gates was the Ishtar Gate. And Ishtar was the goddess of war. So you would go under there with your army and uh, people believed that while you were under the gate, the goddess could see you and you could talk to the goddess. So obviously this was quite important before troops were being sent out to fight and gather new territory. And what I like so much is um, just the fact that old school magic has so many of these connections and references with, you know, with mythology, with ancient history, with ancient civilizations. I think that's really cool. And this again is one of these cards where I feel it could have been part of the Arabian Nights set as well, because, you know, ancient Babylon uh, and that whole civilization, of course, was all located in Syria, in Iraq, like really in that Middle Eastern part of the world where also Arabian Nights take place. And there are more cards and legends, like, for example, Whirling Dervish, where you look at it and you think, shouldn't this actually be an Arabian Nights card? So it's really interesting, like legends, it is, of course, such a big set and such an interesting con um, collection of cards and stories. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you also think that this would have worked well in the Ar Arabian Nights set? Of course, I understand that there were no, uh, there was no legend creature type in Arabian Nights, and there were no golden cards in Arabian Nights. But yeah, let me, let me know what you think. And uh, again, wow, just take a moment to take in this art. Absolutely stunning. Richard came first and you the man, you the man, Richard. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Petrus, think it is somber, can see. 